Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to program one of those pesky little remote controls. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and program this one for all eight device remote control. I'm going to show you some different ways of setting it up and programming it and getting your codes in there so that it'll work for you. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Before we get into the programming, I do want to mention that this remote takes four AAA batteries. One thing I have found with programming remotes is that the batteries do need to be fairly fresh while you're programming. A lot of times if you're having trouble getting the remote to program correctly, replacing the batteries will solve the issue. So there are actually three different ways to program in your devices. The simple set method, you can directly enter the codes using this code list right here. And the third method is, is you can teach this remote using your original factory remote. Okay, I'll be covering all three of these methods today. So let's get started with the simple set method. This method is a quick and easy way of setting up the remotes to control the most popular brands of each device type. There are 10 popular brands listed for each device category, but I'm only going to program in a Sony TV and a Bose soundbar just for the sake of time. Here's a quick still shot of the other categories and their codes. You can just pause it right here if you need more time to read this. By the way, I tried programming in an Apple TV and a Roku streaming device and I couldn't get either one of them to work, but they did work just fine using the direct codes. One more thing, these buttons down here, the Amazon, YouTube, Netflix, and the Apps button will work on some TVs and not others but you can use the teaching method I'm going to show here in a minute to fill these in, but you'll have to have your original remote control. You can also program in a, a macro for your Roku or Apple streaming device to directly access the apps uh, listed on your um, streaming device. Okay, so you're going to want to do this with your device turned on. Now the code from the list there on the Sony TV is 7. So hold down this magic button right here. By the way, I don't think there's any magic in that. But anyway, um, you're going to want... There we go. It flashed. I don't know if you can see that. The TV is lit up. And then you're going to want to scroll through your... It's already on TV, but I'm just showing you. There's DVD, game. I hope that's showing up on the camera. Uh, and then we're back over to TV. It's lit up. Now press and hold 7, because that's the code for my Sony, until your TV turns off. See that? It's sending out a code every three seconds. There, it flashed again. See that? Flashed again. Okay, my TV just turned off, so let go of the 7, and that will store the code. Okay, so let's do that again for my Bose. Press the magic button. Okay, now I'm going to put this over on soundbar. Audio, DVD, game, media sound bar, and then press and hold down 1 for Bose. Right there, you're going to want to do it with the sound bar turned on as before. It's flashing. Send out a code. Send out another code. Let go. All right, it flashed twice and it stored the code. Now you're going to want to check these buttons for the uh, functionality. Um, check them to see if they have all the functions that you expect them to have, like volume, input, channel up and down, all that kind of stuff. If they don't have some features, like if you have power and volume but no channel up and down or input or menu or anything like that, what you can do is try another code. This time, don't stop on the first code, but the TV's gonna turn off and then you'll wait till the next code. The TV should hopefully come back on and then when it does, release the button and try that code. Some codes will only partially work. If you've gone through this three or four times and nothing works, um, you can try the direct entry of the code. Or if that doesn't work and you've exhausted all the codes, just try the teaching method if you have your original remote. Hopefully you do. And you can fill in any missing functions that way using the original remote. Okay, moving on to setting up by a code. If you don't have a brand listed in the first section, you can try the individual codes. Again, we're going to program in a Sony TV, but this time I'm going to include a Roku streamer. For this, you're going to need the code list that I showed you at the beginning of the video. 
Okay, so press and hold this magic button again. Okay, we lit up on soundbar, but we want TV this time. So push the uh, device. See, I'm scrolling through just like I did last time. Until we get wind up on TV. Okay, then enter the code. For Sony, it's 0810. All right, so that should be the first code in the list. The light will blink and go out, and you're going to want to try this code to see if it works as expected, as I mentioned earlier. If not, try the next code, and then keep trying until you've used up all the codes. If none of them are going to work correctly, then you're going to need to teach the remote the missing functions that you don't have, um, as I explained earlier, and I'm going to show you the teaching section next. Okay, next we're going to do the Roku magic. Okay, this time we're going to scroll over to media. Media, and the code for Roku, 3061. Okay, the light went out again. You're going to want to check out that code. All right, we're moving on to the teaching the remote section. This remote should be able to learn just about any function from your original factory remote. I've had people comment to me and say that their original remote is either lost or their dog literally ate the remote. Okay, chewed up the remote, but it's the same thing. Now, if this happens to you and you don't have an original working remote, it's going to be a problem to get this working right. You're going to need a working remote. You might be able to go on eBay and put in your model number to your original remote and pick one up pretty cheap, and that will solve that problem. Okay, you can program in any of the missing functions from your original remote that aren't working on this remote that you might need. For example, I told you earlier that the Amazon, YouTube, Netflix, and apps buttons were working on some TVs and not on others. You can use your original remote to fix that gap and then those buttons will work again. All right, you can program in any of these keys except for magic, devices, and activity. Those three buttons can't be programmed. All right, so to get this started, press and hold the magic button. All right, TV lit up. You're going to want to push the devices until you get over to the category that you want to be under. I'm already on TV, so I'm going to leave it there. Enter 975, 975. Now, press the button on the one for all that you want to program onto. In this case, I'm just going to use this red colored button down here. All right, now press the corresponding button on the other side. Notice that these are lit up here. All right, those went out. It accepted the code. Now to uh, program in more codes, you just push the other button on the other side. I'm just going to use green. I'm going to use volume down right there. All right, the lights went out, volume down. And you can do this as many times as you need to until you've done all your buttons that you want to do. When you're done, push and hold magic and that will store those codes. That's it, TV went out, that's all there is to it. Now you can clear learn buttons, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. You can just consult your manual for that. I'm gonna quickly run through the activities. Uh, this is a pretty neat feature that will allow you to combine the functions of different devices without the pain of constantly switching between the devices. Um, here is a still shot of the different combinations that you can set up. If you need more time, just pause the video right here. Okay, I'm going to set up custom combination number three, and that is the TV Media Plus soundbar. Okay, so push magic, just like we've done 10 times before. The light's going to come on. Okay, now take this activity button here and see how it's starting, which, and then a music. The one on the right is your custom combinations, and then I'm going to push number three because that's the uh, combination three was the TV, media, and soundbar. Now the LED should blink and go out. Um, you'll have to still scroll through the uh, different devices when you power everything on, you know, like TV power, whatever, audio power, uh, media power. But once you do that, you can combine the, uh, the main features from the three devices that I just showed you to act as one, so you're not switching back and forth to, uh, to run this up and down or the volume. The volume automatically goes to the sound bar, stuff like that. So it's a pretty neat feature. Okay, so just see if one of those combinations work for you. 
Um, there's some other things that you can do with this remote, like program in macros that you can use to access apps directly on your Roku or Apple TV, for example. Uh, I'm not going to cover that. You can check those out in the manual. When the remote is in activity mode, the volume up and down automatically goes to the soundbar. But if you didn't go that route and you still have an external audio speaker, you're probably going to want to lock the volume to that instead of your TV. So press magic like you did before. All right, we have our flashing. Nine, put, enter nine, nine, three. Okay. Move your devices over to the one that you want to lock the volume to, which is sound bar, S bar, and then press magic once. Okay, what that did was is it locks the volume to the sound bar. Now to disable that, if you want to go back to controlling the TV volume, press your magic. Press 993, 993, volume up and that released it back to the uh, TV. Well, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.